Welcome back. The mid-cap index continues to lag. The headline index was moving towards that 18,100-odd mark. Time for our special segment, OD Street Shatter. Nimish is shining by to give us a quick insight. Hey, Nimish. Hi, Nigel. So, you know, market at days high. There is a bit of momentum as well for the bulls. And now people have started talking about the new, uh, you know, new highs as well coming very soon. But just a, you know, a bit of a caution view. Uh, um, that's, some, that's a mixed feedback that I'm getting in today. So, uh, while, the, while the larger institutional flows are still positive, some bit of profit booking is seen across the board. Uh, from the domestic investors and these are all large domestic investors uh, you know who've been in the market for very long and uh, it's just a tactical positioning uh, so to speak you know bit of profit booking is what i understand not like they're negative on the markets but uh, they're trying to book profits at, at these higher levels and try to uh, and try to you know lighten their positions so that's that's a bit of a contra view which is which i've picked up today from the leading room so that's something to watch out for again you know uh, in terms of flows as i said the, the institution for the strong uh, with a positive bias again the buying seems to be clearly on the financial name so Large private banks are well bid and a bit of selling trade in the OMC name. So that, that stands out in terms of flows. Technically, both Nifty and Bank Nifty are about the crucial breakout level. So that's supporting the market, that's supporting the momentum as well, and that's seen in the mid cap and small cap. As I said, uh, while institutional flows are still strong, a bit of a contra with the, some domestic funds and influential investors have started booking some profits at these higher levels. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, uh, Nimesh. Uh, in terms of uh, specific stocks on your list, uh, what do you have today? Well, Prashant, so the first stock on my list is Ami Organics, a huge block, 7% equity has changed hands. I believe some, uh, domestic, uh, some domestic investors were on the buy side, and most likely uh, the promoter entity was a seller in today's block. So the, the disclosures will be important today evening, so that's something to watch out. That's the first one. The second, talk, second stock is Tech Mahindra. Yesterday there was a good amount of buying in Infosys. Today, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's the case with Tech Mahindra. So very strong buy flows at a leading FIA desk. The delivery volumes are expected to be quite high in Tech Mahindra. And there is consistent buying now periodically in the, in the technology names in the large cap. So Tech Mahindra stands out today in terms of flows. The third stock is Zomato. Uh, you know, again, uh, a day when the stock is up 4 5%, largely on back of strong buy flows. So every now and then you keep, keep seeing that kind of you know, strong flows and that pushes the stocks higher. That's, that's Zomato in today's trade. And the last stock is Federal Bank. Well, uh, you know, while there is a lot of momentum in the bank stocks, a lot of bank stocks are doing good. Federal Bank uh, in the last few days has been under pressure and is under pressure today as well, largely on sell flows at a leading FIDA. So it looks like some long only fund or some large fund seems to be uh, you know, selling out Federal Bank and hence that stock is under pressure within the overall financial names. All right, interesting list as always, Nimesh. Thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, well,